When Tekela Road resident Steve Shaw woke up this morning, he was feeling relieved. Even though the fire had ballooned in size overnight to 70 hectares, it was moving away from his home, and helicopters were bucketing water again. A lot better than I did yesterday. It looks like they've pretty well got it, so it isn't going to come over the ridge. Since it started yesterday afternoon, many area residents have been keeping a close eye on the firefight from the skies. Yeah, it's a little scary and concerning, that's for sure. Top of mind for many is the Fortis BC plant that's also on Mount Hayes that's currently storing 46,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas. But the North Oyster Fire Department chief says people shouldn't worry. The point I wouldn't be too concerned, like the LNG plant itself is very well put together, a fire smart property with tons of fire suppression equipment up there. Today, the North Oyster Fire Department was setting up sprinklers to protect some accessory buildings. There's substantial space uh, in between our facility and the surrounding tree line. Uh, to make that, that distance even safer, uh, we're going through right now and clearing any sort of vegetation right down to grass uh, within 40 feet of our fence line. And Fortis BC says there are also hydrants across the property, among other safeguards. At Nanaimo Airport, numerous people arrived today, not realizing their flights had been cancelled or delayed. If there's a forest fire anywhere within five kilometers of the airport and it requires air support, they want it exclusively for the firefighting service. And so they operate between sunset and sunrise. Vic Clausen is trying to fly to Ontario to visit his ailing father. But that was cancelled and then rebooked to 1.30 and now that's cancelled and so like 9.30 tomorrow morning. He's now flying out of Comox instead. On the fire front this afternoon, first responders notify 20 neighbours to be ready to evacuate. Jennifer Fink is thankful people helped remove her 20 horses yesterday. It's really devastating to worry that, that this could happen in, in our backyard. So stressful. Farmers among those preparing in case evacuations are required.